It's an honor to be here tonight. I just uh, like to recognize some of my executive staff that are here tonight, and I appreciate it. Uh, ben Tucker's here, Carlos Gomez. Terry Monahan. Ter Terry's my body tumble. In case I ever think there's gonna be trouble, I send Terry out there first. And then uh, Dermot Shea. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Susan and Greg from the Police Foundation. Thank you for this night, and uh, thank you for everything that you do. And Kathy Perez is probably mad that I didn't introduce her yet. She probably thought I forgot about her, but I didn't. Deputy Commissioner Kathy Perez. Just, uh, just want to talk for a couple minutes about what it's like to be a cop. Um, I've been a cop now for, actually I'm not a cop anymore, right? Since I, I got this position. I had to, I had to take uh, my uniform off five weeks ago, but uh, it's not easy being a cop. Uh, I've been in, been in this police department for a long time. I've uh, been through all the ups and downs, and I get to see, as the police commissioner, I get to see the great work that's done every day that's not truly appreciated, maybe by everybody in this city and, and, and in this great country. Uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to make decisions under pressure. Uh, it's difficult to go out there every day knowing that uh, you know, at any point, any second, any time that uh, you might have to, to make a choice uh, that's going to have an impact on not only your life but the lives of uh, the, the people that you're sworn to serve and protect. And I think that is uh, something as we, as we move forward through these very difficult times when it's uh, truly, uh, it's, it's a complicated, it's a complicated job. It really is. It's, uh, you know, we, we do not get the sense of appreciation that I think we need, uh, and none of us came on this job to, to get that to, to get that feeling. I know that, but uh, you know, when you look at the, the state of the city, the way it was 25 years ago, and I see some faces. Uh, I'm not going to point them out. Sitting at certain tables here, I know you were here 25 years ago. You know what the city was like, and and you see what it's like now. And that doesn't happen by accident. That happens as a result of hard work, of sacrifice. Uh, sometimes the ultimate sacrifice, and I just uh, everybody in this city, everybody in this country needs to know that. And uh, that's my mission. My mission as police commissioner is to make sure people understand uh, how difficult it is to do this job. And but it is a rewarding job, and we all took this job. Uh, each and every one of us took this job uh, uh, to make a difference. Uh, we made that decision at some point in our lives uh, to do something good and to do something right. And I talk about that all the time, and I'll never stop talking about it. It's uh, it's an honor to be the police commissioner, a position that uh, never in my wildest imagination that I'd have this job, starting out as a rookie transit cop uh, 34 years ago, riding the uptown A train or downtown A train. But uh, it's, it's, um, it's a job that I will hold sacred. And I'll do my best to make sure that uh, everybody understands what a vital function is to be a police officer, to be a police officer. We're vital to the city. And uh, what we do, there's, uh, there's legacy involved in this. And our willingness and ability to rally and move forward towards troubling times shows us that there's something different about cops. Just as I, I talked about a couple of seconds ago about leading a life of significance. And I go home every day uh, thinking about what gets done in this city. And uh, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not so easy. Sometimes uh, it's, I've had this job for five weeks now. And uh, as I left the police department, as, I, as Commissioner Bratton left the police department, I don't know if everybody knows what a walkout is. But the day of Commissioner Bratton's walkout, I saw him walking from the front door of one police plaza to the emergency service truck. And I saw the look on his face change in that 100 or 200 yards. And that look that was leaving his face somehow transformed to my face. <laughs> As he got into that truck and, uh, and, and moved away from one police plaza. But we certainly owe a, a great debt of data, uh, gratitude to Bill Bratton. I think he's one of the driving forces uh, uh, behind this city being the way it is, and I'll always be thankful to him, and uh, he is, uh, he, he's truly a treasure to this police department. But tonight we're here to honor four officers who embody that fortitude and that perseverance. And I just, let me tell you about perseverance and humility. Uh, and we're going to honor people with the uh, Police Commissioner Theodore Roosevelt Award, but I've, uh, I've known one of the recipients for nine years now. Uh, John Hopkins, Lieutenant John Hopkins, and 
to his credit, or I, I don't know if it's being Irish, I don't know what it is, I had no idea that uh, John was ever sick. And I've seen him, John, I've seen you numerous times over the last year, and not once did John uh, say anything, uh, <coughs> suffered in silence. I know his wife is, is truly at his side and his kids are tremendous. I've had the opportunity to sit and talk to them for the last couple of hours. Uh, John, you're truly an amazing person, so thank you for everything that you do. And John, John's in the middle of it. He's, uh, he's uh, the Special Ops Lieutenant in the 6-7. And uh, the 6-7 is, is uh, where we need people that are truly dedicated to keeping the people of the city safe. Uh, so John, I, I, just, I'm, I still can't believe that you're getting this award and never once did I know that uh, that there were any issues with you. And I'm so glad that, that you're here to receive this award and I wish you the best of luck. So, John, thank you very much. And although there are all the award recipients tonight, your personal battles continue. You're here as full duty members of the NYPD and that's a tremendous uh, accomplishment. Not because they have to be, they don't have to be here. They could be doing something else, and I'm sure there would be, nobody would even think twice about it. But they're here because they want to be, and that's, that's truly admirable. Each one of them has shown inspiring resilience when faced with debilitating, life-threatening illnesses and injuries. They were determined not only to survive, but to continue to serve the people of New York City and to continue our mission. And our mission is to fight crime and keep people safe in every neighborhood of this great city. The namesake of the award, Teddy Roosevelt, was an inspiring role model in his own right. History remembers him as an athletic, as an athletic person, a soldier, and an avid outdoorsman. In his youth, however, things were a little different. He suffered from headaches, abdominal pains, poor eyesight, asthma, but none of that stopped him from achieving his goals. He was the commissioner of the New York City Police Department, moving on to become the president of the United States. Our four honorees echo his legacy, perseverance and fortitude, and each continues to doing, doing the job that they, they love so well. And uh, as I was having a discussion with John, he brought up a good point. Uh, there's a whole group of people that I think sometimes in the NYPD forget about, that we forget about, and that's the honorary surgeons. Uh, they do their jobs, and most of the time they don't even take money, and the work they do is absolutely tremendous. I don't know if any of them are here tonight, but if they are, I give you a round of applause. So John, uh, Sergeant, Ch 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 sorry about that, Tranjowski and Ganley and the police officer Delaga, your fortitude in the face of great difficulty, your perseverance when the odds seemed insurmountable is an example to all of us. Congratulations and thank you for everything you've done and everything you continue to do. And uh, everybody have a great night. Thank you very much. So before Tony uh, closes out, I just want to say congratulations to all the past awardees. Uh, I didn't realize I knew so many of them. Seamus. Nelson, Andy Benjamin, so congratulations to you and, and thank you for your courage and uh, perseverance. I'd also like to thank uh, Dr. Kleinman, uh, an unsung hero in our department. So. <laughs>